Oh. Oh, even the title screen is weird. Okay, welcome. This is Key to Truths. Kind of like a potato mode kind of thing. Uh, it reduces the quality of the game to either resemble what it would be like on Switch or what it would be like on Vita. And I opted for Vita because the Vita is less powerful than the Switch. And, uh, yeah, le <laughs> let's, uh, let's go to, uh, you know, end game and see what the final bosses are like. If you would like me to do a full playthrough of the game like this, where we go through the entire game, see what the cutscenes are like, obviously it would be beginner, so we can get through as quickly as possible, but like, I, I, I'd be up for it. I'm busy with other stuff, like there's a lot of new games coming out, like Nier and, and Returnal and stuff, but I'd, I'd be up for it. This is... this is cool. Oh my god! Let's see. Sweet lord. Oh my god! Wow. Wow. Oh, I wasn't ready. I wasn't ready. Oh my god. Oh my god. It sure is awful quiet here. <laughs> I thought he was going to say, it sure is awful here. Yeah, no, mate, it is. <laughs> is that Xehanort? It... it it could be, it could be a giant fly for all we know. It's really hard to tell. Hey, <laughs> the way his mouth opens! What? <gasps> this is incredibly cursed. I love it so much. Oh no. What's going on? Y you got me. I had no idea, mate. <laughs> this is a gift. Like, this is an actual gift. I need to play the entire game like this. I just need to. I presume pre rendered cutscenes wouldn't be affected by this, at least not to the same severity. Mate, it would make sense. Wow. <laughs> this is spectacular. Key to truth, thank you so much for this gift. I love this so much. Wow. Wow. <laughs> Like every so often, like it, it's it's got a close up. It's like yeah, it's bad, but it's not terrible. Then you get a zoom out of the entire world. It's like yeah, no, it it, it is that bad. <laughs> At least the music is the same. Like imagine if it was really distorted. Well then. Let's go, shall we? Let's go. Oh, where are they? Oh, that's new. Oh, this mode is like messing with them. They're not showing up where they usually do. Oh, fascinating. Oh, there we go. Cool. I was going to say, that's weird because they usually do show up in that corner. Like, I've never seen them not. So that's fascinating. Wow, I like the square box that they disappear through. Oh, man, this is amazing. Oh, man, how much do I want to show off? I mean, there's there's a lot to love here. There is a lot to love. Oh, we need to see the title card. Oh, the title card's going to be so bad. Master Xehanort. <laughs> Behold, this town. Once a seat of power for all Keyblade wielders. It is the nexus from which all worlds... I know stream. that the voice for Xehanort in this game is no Leonard Nimoy, but the way that both the voice actors say certain lines genuinely has become kind of iconic in my eyes. I really like how some lines are delivered. 
wow, this does not look good. <laughs> <laughs> Here I and my other selves can be one. United in Scala et Kylo. Whoa! <laughs> oh, interesting. Oh, fascinating. Wow, so that operates under something completely different. That's very interesting. Wow, what a contrast. <laughs> Look at the background compared to... Like, if you didn't know what it is, you might think it's some Star Destroyers or something. Like, you can't tell. It's buildings. Alright, I think I'm going to do this battle, and then we'll call it quits for now, because I am so up for doing a full playthrough, if people want me to. Let me know in the comments, because I am all for it. Let's get him. Yeah. I thought, it was like, come on, let's tell Tilly he wants to do it. Okay. I'll probably also play with easy codes just to get through, like, so I can one-shot everything apart from bosses. Just because we, we want to get to the good stuff, but, you know. It's going to be really interesting because, like, some cutscenes are going to be so jarringly nice in comparison. <laughs> Alright, let's do this. I'm, I'm really intrigued to see what it's like underwater. I hope it's as awful as it's going to be in my head. <laughs> we are just getting started. Mate, why? Why would you do? Nice. I do love this fight. It is awesome. Wow. <laughs> nice, nice shot, mate. You know what, the beam of light doesn't look that bad. <laughs> it is just a bit, I mean, a little rough here and there, but... You see, this is what it'd be like if it was on Vita. This is what it'd be like if it was on PS1. That's what it feels like. It's, it's, I mean, it's impressive. I, I genuinely am loving this. It's incredible. Water. How unbelievably cursed is it? Desperate to know. The water's very, like, staticky. That's really interesting. Huh. Come on, I can get you. Oh, it's so square, I love it. No, die! There we go, good stuff. Oh my god. <laughs> so, like, every time I think I'm used to it, just another camera angle, like, shows up where something moves into scene, and it's like, yeah, no, I'm not. It's so, so cursed. Oh god, it's beautiful. And, like, stuff like the toy world, and... And fighting your Zora with this would be awful. Amazing, but awful. Yeah, I think uh, I think this fight is where we're going to end it. So, thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this. Um, if you have, I very much appreciate it if you left a like, subscribe, share the video around. I also have a Twitch, a Twitter, and a Patreon if you'd like to support me in the channel. Obviously, go support Get a Truth for this incredible mod to just ruin this game. It is spectacular. I say ruin. Um, it depends on what you're after. I, I've wanted to see a potato mode of this for a while, um, and, uh, and it did deliver, so... <laughs>
think you have one? Yep. Pretty certain.